What is up guys, Tomcat here, and welcome back to another video in Spin Tires Mudrunner. Now, I gotta admit that when I first tried out this map, it's called UK Off-Roading, when I first tried out this map, I was like, dude, this map's like really boring and there's nothing here. However, I kept exploring, and yes, sure enough, like these roads and these trails like that wind around through here, yeah, there's really nothing there, but you get up in here and it gets crazy, or... You come over here, gets crazy. You come over here, oh man. You come over here, and this is that is like one of the craziest mud holes I have ever seen in this freaking game. So, so, we are going to actually go over there in this challenge build, which honestly, like, the challenge build, I'm, I've never actually driven it before. I'm kind of curious as to how it will work. And um, do those light bars work? Yeah, oh my god, they work really, 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 really well. So, um, this is kind of like a, basically just a jeep, uh, body, like it started as a jeep body and then they turned it into a buggy. Um, this was made for a competition, I'm not sure exactly what competition it was made for, but, and you know what? I feel like the quickest way to get there is just gonna be to go along the, uh, yeah, along the, uh, the water's edge. I feel like it's kind of like a cheater way to get there almost, because we're bypassing a bunch of trails, but... The point of this video is to show you guys that mud pit because it is absolutely just off the charts. It's insane. And it's bigger than the one on the map that I previously showed you guys with a mud pit. I mean, this, this mud pit is big. It's very, 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 very huge. And I know that, like, normally you don't hear people say very huge, but this, this mud pit... This mud pit equals out to being fair to being very huge seriously, so let's see. Oh, we're like it's literally right over that hill perfect Let's see if okay, so I didn't realize like why the the ground got like super soft all of a sudden wait are we there? Yes, we're here. All right, so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and then I'll go and grab the rest of the vehicles because this is gonna be this is gonna be wild so there's the mud pit, and it is gigantic. It is absolutely gigantic. So let me grab the... So the Nightcrawler is recallable. We can bring that guy right up here. The, uh, the other two are not recallable, which means I'm going to grab the Hades um, mud truck and then basically put a winch on the JK, and but put it in like follow mode so the JK will just drive behind me. I can kind of like lead it around like a little, you know, like, like it's, it's like, it's like th this truck's like puppy or something. We may as well put it on the one in the middle. Oh God, that pulls the nose of the Jeep so far down. It's hilarious. We should probably not put it there because it does pull the front end of the Jeep down a lot, but I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, we're just going to drive along the edge of the river until we get to the mud pit, so... Oh, I was like, what is squeaking? And then I realized, I was like, I'm not hitting the brakes. And then I realized the Jeep behind me was hitting the brakes. All right, I don't know how he's going to make this turn. This turn's going to be weird for him. Not for me, but for him. Can he crawl over it? Can crawl over it the first half. There we go. All right, yeah, he's good to go. So let's see what happens if, well, I'm just going to put it in high, but I'm going to do that after I get around this tree. Because if I do it before I get around the tree, we'd end up in a little bit of trouble. Maybe more than a little bit of trouble. <laughs> we'd end up in a bit of... A bit. Let's call it a bit of trouble. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. This bit I'm, I'm, I'm concerned is going to be slow because even though this thing is a mud truck, it doesn't like mud and it bothers the crap out of me that this thing is like... Right, this big badass mud truck and it's like, oh... Mud? Yeah, uh, nah, no, 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 no bueno, not interested. Like, but you're a mud truck! You're, like, you've got these massive mud tires, and a custom frame, and, like, all the things that make a mud truck a mud truck, and freaking dual coilovers, but it's like, nah, bro, I I'm, I'm not interested. I'm like, alright, oh god, apparently it wants to climb trees, though. I don't know if it wanted to climb that tree or mount it. One of those two things was happening, and I'm not sure which one it- Are you serious? Okay, it's good to go now. <laughs> I was about to get just like- 
That about pushed me over. I don't know why that... I don't know why the Jeep was chilling out back there. It shouldn't have been. Come on, low two. You really going to make me go to low two? All right, then. Regardless, it's right up here. And I wonder if the ground is a little bit more hard packed on the trail itself. It may be, but it also may not be. And this may be a iffy choice. But we're about to find out. So far, it's been a good choice because it's just pulling. Just pulling with no problems at all, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. God, this is why I don't like slow trucks, or at least slow trucks in mud. They just, like, you'll occasionally... I feel like, you know what, I feel like we'd be going faster if the Jeep was pulling this, this truck. Honestly, I feel like it would be because that Jeep is actually, in my experience, really good in mud. But regardless, we've got the whole crew here at the mud pit, and we're ready to have our little shootout. Now, from mud pit to mud pit, it varies, but what the hell is that thing doing? It's going back and forth. That, that, that buggy is possessed as hell. The engine's not even on. Apparently, like, it was in reverse, and it decided that reverse was, like, the way to go. Back up, maybe? It doesn't even want to stay. I was like, I was trying to stall it out. I have no idea what it's doing. There we go. All right, we shut the engine off, but I don't know. It, it's it still might move. Yeah, that thing is still gonna move around. It's very weird. And I don't know why it's doing it. But alright, we have everybody here. Everything of like... It, and dude, there's so many like... There's so many different kinds of vehicles. Every, everything from like... A custom, you know, almost like an ultimate adventure buggy rig. To a rock bouncer. To a mud truck. To a lifted JK. So, let me... Oh god, though I forgot that these lights are on all the time. Alright, so the JK is going to be first up. And we're going to see how this thing does in the mud. So let's see. Three, two, one, go. Off to a not too shabby start. Spinning a lot in high. What I'm going to do with all these vehicles is start them off in high, see how far they can go, and then shift them into low. Yeah, and I didn't realize we were going to have to be in low too, like right off the bat with this Jeep apparently. Let me see if it'll go back into high. It will. Question is, for how long? Probably until it digs itself a hole. Please don't do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God, this thing is not uh, brilliant at keeping its keeping its line. It's weird because it doesn't want to. Uh, uh oh, didn't mean to do that. It's it's not that it's not bad. It's it's not that it's not good at keeping its line. I take that back. I didn't word that properly. It's it's the fact that it is. Oh, what is even the word I'm trying to look for here? It's 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 well it. <laughs> its grip sucks. Okay, its grip in mud sucks. And I don't know if it was like if they intentionally made this mud like really really sloppy and slick, which they could have done, but. Man, th this is definitely one of the more challenging mud pits I've ever been through because it's like, it's long, right? It's not just your average normal mud pit that's like small and has a little bit of mud in it and a little bit of water. This is like deep, thick mud with rocks, sticks, like everything that you could put in a mud pit they've put in here. And we are... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Found a little bit of traction. I'm just pushing mud with the bumper right now. Oh my god, why? Alright, take two, and we're currently stuck. Uh, well, stuck-ish, again. But you'll notice the other vehicles aren't back there anymore. There's a reason for that. Um, put it this way, there's been another... I think what happens is sometimes the game just... It either gets overloaded, or it just runs into a... A snag with these mods, and it just decides that it's going to crash. And that it does. Oh, 
Needed low one, but we were able to push it forward. God, I really don't I really hope I don't have to stay in low one for the rest of this. Oh, that would suck. That would suck so bad. Oh my god. Oh, there's top of low two moving along. Alright. That's a bit better than we were we were doing before, too. Just sticking with it though. There we go. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Hell yes, dude. So we made it across the mud bog in the Jeep. And now, honestly, like, I mean, I think that based on the performance we saw from the Chevy, like, it would not be a fan of that mud pit. Um, and I, I am going to make a follow-up, and we'll see how they, you know, we'll see how those other vehicles do. But while we're here, I want to see, yeah, now you can see, you know, what an actual crazy mud hole that was that this thing just went through. Like, it just, oh my god, devout, well... This thing didn't quite devour the mud hole, but the mud hole almost devoured it. So we're, we're, I'm, I'm excited that we're actually on the other side. I do want to see what it can do with this hill. Come on. Come on, little Jeep. Ooh, it almost flipped over backwards. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Jeep. You can do this. You can so do this. Oh, you got it. Woo. Almost went over the edge is what it did. Or, well, almost went over the edge is what it almost did. Keep it upright. Oh, I'm just going to drive. I'm just going to keep it in high with the pedal floored and see how far I can go. And, well, I mean, we made it through all of that pretty well, so I'm going to keep going. I have not seen any of this area of this map, so this is all completely new to me. And I'm just trying to keep my cool while keeping this thing flat to the floor in high range. It's still going, though. Like, I mean, it's keeping it up properly well. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it's starting to get a little muddy now. Please don't bog down. Ooh, please don't bog down. Seriously. Oh, there we go. Not terrible. Not terrible. It does move out when it gets the right amount of traction. Like, this thing does move along for sure. For sure, dude. Like, it, it's actually a really good rig. Now, this is where this map gets weird because you'll, you'll find, like, you'll find areas like this that'll be really interesting and, like, you know, uh oh Well, we've got red damage. But... You'll find areas like this that'll be really interesting and fun, and then areas like, like this, for example, that there's, like, nothing. There's, like, nothing. There's some, that, like, there's stuff up here, and this is actually entertaining to drive in up here, but, like, down in, in this area, it's, like, it's weird. It's, like, they took half of the map and, and took a big chunk of it and, like, just didn't use it. And it might be big, but, like, all of this is all woods. And there's hills out here, so it's not like there isn't potential for trails. But, like, so much of this map is just, like, all woods. But, I mean, it's a good map. It's a good mud hole. I mean, you should definitely check out this map purely for the mud hole if you want a really good mud pit to battle out, your, you know, with your trucks in. But if you all did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.